Yo, what's up everybody? It is Dithy or Noel, here with a really fucking funny video that I think all of you guys are really gonna like tonight. Sorry, I'm uploading a little bit later tonight, you know, had school, I had a bunch of shit I had to catch up on, but it's fine. Uh, anyway, let's get right into this. So, this, vi this happened right in 6th grade. Now, in my si when I reached 6th grade, I started getting really interested in smoking, not specifically smoking anything, like... Anything you could smoke, I wanted to smoke. And around this time, my dad actually got into, like, when vaping just was starting to get big, like, you know, e-cigarettes and stuff. When that was just starting to get big, he ended up buying vape. And uh, he ended up stopping, like, I think this was three quarters of the way through my sixth grade year. He stopped because he started getting, like, skin irritation and shit. I don't know if it was just him, but... Uh, he started getting that, so he stopped doing it, and my little self knew exactly where he put it. I knew exactly where he kept it. So, you know, one morning, I think, uh, my parents said that they were gonna leave super duper early, because they either had to go to the airport, or they were just doing something that would mean they were leaving at, like, 4 a.m. So, I end up getting up, like, an hour earlier than I normally do. I go in there, grab the vape, charge it up start hitting it and stuff and you know i'm just doing my own thing for a little bit and then i think it would be hilarious and that i would look like such a badass if i sent this uh video of me vaping to my friend i thought it would make me look so cool and just all that and uh so you know your sms app on your phone not like the one you but you add on there but the one that comes with it well, when you close that app, it stays on the contact that you had open. Like, if I had an, a contact open, and then I closed it and closed the tab, when I go back in, I'm going to be on that same contact. Now, that morning, I had been talking to my friend and my mom, just going back and forth. Her talking about me, telling me the stuff I need to do, and him just bullshitting with him. So, I decide to send it to him, and... When I closed my app, apparently I had my mom's contact open, not his. So, when I, I think, I don't know what was going on in sixth grade, I just, my consciousness was just not there. I didn't have that voice telling me, this is a very poor idea. You are going to get, in, like, this is just going to end badly. I didn't have that. So, without thinking, I put the video in there and I press send. And let me tell you. When I looked slightly up and I saw it was my mom's contact, and on these SMS apps, you can delete a message, but you can only delete it for yourself. You won't be able to see it, but they will. And my mom was gone, so it's like, oh, fuck, I'm fucked. I can't even, like, go and get her phone and delete it before she sees it. I literally can't do that. So I'm just fucked, and I know I'm fucked. And I'm like, oh, shit, wrong person. And I send that to her, and I'm just like, oh, I'm fucked. And my mom did something that, like, after that, that made it me feel way more scared. She didn't reply. So she didn't reply to me. Uh, or here, let me go back. I have that panic attack. I go get on the bus to go to school, and the whole time, I'm just freaking the fuck out. I'm like, I am so fucked. I am in so much fucking trouble, like, all this different shit, and, uh, you know, I'm telling my friends about it, and they're laughing at me, like, oh, ho, 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 ho. I just fucking, you know, I deserved it, because if I'm, if I was stupid enough to send that video to her, then I deserve to be in trouble for that, but they're all laughing at me, and I think it was probably... I was probably in my sixth class of the day when she finally responded to me. And it was something like, we'll talk when you get home. And I was just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Just repeated fucks because I was so boned and I knew I was boned. It was just the biggest shit show. And I was just like, oh, I hate my life. But anyway, I go home. Uh, the first person I have to talk to is my dad. Not my mom, my dad. And this hurt even worse because it's like, it was worse because it was his. I went into his room and took it from him. So it was just worse having to talk to him. And what he said hurt. He was like, I'm not mad that you're doing that. I'm mad that you 
invaded my privacy, went in there, and took it. And you knew exactly where it was. You went through my stuff and you stole it. Like, fuck, dude. That hurt so bad. And I was just like, oh, shit. And um, punishment-wise, I think I got grounded. I don't think I got whipped. Because this was like 6th grade. I stopped getting whipped. But it was in like 6th grade. Uh, so I think they just grounded me for like a month or something. Mom kind of goes easy sometimes. So it might have been more like two weeks. But... Something like that. Uh, but I guess the, the message of this video is don't be an idiot. Don't send shit to, like, this is not even have to do with videos, videos of you vaping. Just don't send shit to the wrong people. If you're going to send something to someone, make sure it is the right person. Or better yet, if you're doing something illegal or wrong, don't fucking send it to people. <laughs> I guess that's a better memo is just don't send that kind of shit to people. Just not worth it. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the whole video. I really hope you liked it. I love seeing all the comments. Your guys' comments are awesome. I love getting to read them and see getting it, getting comments on there and thumbs up and all that shit. It, it really makes my days, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Sorry this video is going up a little bit late. Sorry, like I said, just been busy with schoolwork. But I hope you guys have an awesome night. Uh... Drink water. Don't eat Cheetos and Funyuns at the same time. You don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you all later. Peace.